What's up guys? Today I wanted to show you how to wire a foot switch for your JCM2000 Dual Super Lead. Now the JCM2000 came with one of these pedals which is a PDE801 and it has a mono cable coming out of it plugs into the back and it allows you to channel select from crunch to ultra gain and then you would have had to buy another one of these and plug it into the reverb to turn the reverb on and off. Now I want to explain to you what the difference between a mono TRS cable and a TRS stereo cable is. As you can see you have a tip and that's going to be your left then you have a black insulator and then a sleeve and that's all there is to the mono. The sleeve is your ground over here on the stereo one you have the left channel which is your tip an insulator and then a ring which is your right channel another insulator and then you have the sleeve which is your ground now if you look at this picture right in the center with the two buttons it's a Marshall this is going to come with a TRS stereo so you're gonna have to get rid of that and basically just cut the wires and you're gonna to have to buy yourself two quarter inch female mono jacks they gotta be mono okay you could use stereo but you're gonna have an extra lug on it doesn't really matter but the mono will simplify it for those that you know aren't familiar with doing this sort of thing and you'll later on see what you know that looks like okay so what you want to do is separate your reverb side from your channel side and in my case I have two fenders two fender foot switches that I'll list the uh, model numbers below and to my surprise as I will say later on in my video they come with PCB boards and they were wired a little bit different and I'll show you the wiring but I did want to explain to you what's going on and it's a much better idea anyway to put in female quarter inch jacks right into the foot switch itself and then use some good cables and go up to your amplifier okay so we got this all taken apart I got it all wired up and I'll explain to you what's going on here so if you decide to make one of these with this pedal you'll know exactly what's going on and how to do it over on this side is your factory jack over on this part is your effects which will be your reverb on this side is going to be your channel selector now I wasn't expecting it to be wired this way so uh, right here this lug right here is the tip which runs down and right in this area is your LED this is the negative side and this runs off to your one lug on your latching switch this is the middle lug and then this lug does not get used over here there's three points of ground and then the trace runs down over to this, to this latching switch so what I did was I broke the trace here and I broke it up over here to separate this side from this side I took a black wire and I soldered it to this ground point and this is a resistor going across here if I was to turn this around so all I did was loop it around and soldered into the resistor here which loops back to the middle lug a little weird but that's the way they did it so when you plug in on this side your quarter inch jack you're gonna put it to your reverb and when you press it on the LED will come on and your reverb will be on now moving to this section over here ignore this right here because I scratched this trace by accident there's a resistor from here to here 
and I simply wanted to scratch this one out here. Yes, it is just a trace that follows down to the center lug. And I scratched this one out and I scratched this one out because I was trying to figure out which way I need to get this switch to work with the LED. So, if you're doing this with a brand new one, just break it at this point. Leave the resistor to the center lug intact. That trace needs to be intact. I put a jump wire in there to reconnect it. From this center lug, you're gonna follow, you're gonna run a whatever color, red, yellow, white, whatever is gonna distinguish your tip from ground. So I only had a red piece, and then I ran it up to this lug here, which connects to the tip. From this end lug, I ran over to the sleeve and then like in my other video I did with another Marshall uh, and converting an Ibanez pedal or a Marshall to an Ibanez and so forth this lug here runs up to to the negative side of the LED and then this is your resistor point which goes from here to here and this trace went right to the center lug so now when you plug in over here from that jack into the channel selector of your amp you'll be able to switch the channels and your LED will be able to work and it'll come on to show you how this thing gets assembled is uh, the screw there's screws over here okay you just take them out both sides and then this slides out as you can see it slides in and then all you do is uh, put that side on there put the screws back together all right so we got the pedal all hooked up um, right now we're on the clean channel or well crunch channel and then if we uh, hit the channel selector now we're on ultra gain and then you turn that off we can hit the other one which is now reverb and you'll hear some reverb So that's the crunch channel, and if you uh, add the uh, ultra gain, and then turn the reverb off. Back to. Uh, The only thing that, you know, I kind of bummed out about is uh, you still got to use the buttons on the amplifier to go from clean to crunch and lead one to lead two. But, you know, it is what it is. So that's the way you uh, make a Fender pedal, work with a JCM 2000, and you, like I said, you could do this with other pedals too and make it work with this amp. 